Hello again, and today's video is another unboxing and build video of some vintage Warhammer Fantasy miniatures. Uh, this is a two for one because we've got two models of the same character, and that is Skylar Amfingrim, Spawn of Corn. Now we have the 1994 model by Ali Morrison and the 1999 iteration by Trish Morrison. Um, a little less heresy in the fact that this box is already damaged, a little water damage there and the top's been cut off. But just to add a little bonus heresy, we're going to be putting these on 50 millimeter, the old world bases, and these are going to be used as chaos spawn in my chaos army. So without further ado, we're going to start off in 1994 and get this cracked open. Oh, there's not much glue on this one. Okay, check that out. We have got a 25 by 50 mil cavalry base. That can go to one side. We're not going to use that today. Some more of this really good foam, which is really good for doing chipping damage. We'll keep hold of that. Okay. We've got two razor-like tails with huge claws on the end. Got one half of the body with a lower jaw on it. Huge spikes. That's the other half of the body. Oh yeah, check this out, we've got slaughter base stuff going on there. It's got some plates on the back, big armor plates. Really lithe miniature, this one. You'll see the difference um, between the two once, once they're built, we'll have a little comparison. Real big mitts with real big claws. but still quite thin lithe arms comparatively. Back leg. That is the upper jaw, top of the head. I've seen this head used, I'm sure I've seen the top of this, in fact, this very piece used in conversions with demon princes in the past. Real cool. Very wolf-like, this one. Uh, this looks like... This, this looks like the right forearm. Oh, we've got a peg there, so we'll probably get a little peg and hole action. So, no need to pin this one. <laughs> I mean, not like I pin my metal models anyway. What I normally do is just glue them together with with hope and a prayer and then try not to destroy them okay cool let's uh let's get this put together That went together surprisingly well, considering the age of the model and considering the fit of the components when I first offered them up to each other. I think half of it's down to the fact that this came with peg and hole joints, which is quite unusual for a model of this age. You didn't really get much of that in the mid nineties. Most of them are smooth ball joints. Right, let's get straight down to 
Skylar and Finn Grimm. Number two. Much stronger adhesive on this one. Okay, now we're living in the era of the 40 millimeter square monster base for Chaos Spawn. The red sponge, just as good for doing chipping damage. Again, we'll keep that. Okay, this has got a lot more weight to it. Okay, first we've got the body. Okay, the body still has lots of horns on it, but they're much stumpier, thicker, chunkier. And the tail, this time instead of two barbed spikes, we've got a gaping maw on the end of this one. Much thicker, muscular torso. Oh wow. Okay. I've, I've, I've known this miniature for quite a long time and this is the first time I've actually physically got my hands on it. So actually getting these claws in hand is uh, it's quite interesting. Now we've got the great big spikes on the shoulders now. The original just had it on the spine and it has two great big claws on the end of its long gorilla-like appendage. Now this, this is much more gorilla-like, whereas the original is far more um, dog-like. Look at that. So there's no, there's no, uh, there's no peg and hole on this one. So this might actually be harder to get it to stick. I might have to employ some green stuff on this one, but we'll see. Again, another two-clawed long arm with spikes on the shoulder. This one hunched over, obviously using that one to support itself on the ground. Very much in the style of a charging silverback gorilla. Here's the rear leg. And again, this claw, this claw at the back appears to be bent backwards, riding on its knuckles. Unless I've got this wrong. But when I offer it up, I'll make sure that goes on the right way around, obviously. But it does look as if it's galloping along on its knuckles, on its rear legs as well. And not on this one. This one is planted solidly on its toes. And again, all these big horny spikes, quite similar to um, the bearded dragon in that sense. Now, here's the collar of corn. You can see this one actually has a nice big cornate pendant on there, identifying this one clearly as a spawn of corn. And so, oh, the head, oh, look at this. This also, uh, I've seen this being used as a um, demon prince head as well. It's really fantastic. Again, way more gorilla-like, less dog-like. Still has the same energy as the original miniature, one arm up, one arm down. Screaming bloody murder to the gods as it charges forwards. Cool, right, without further ado, let's get this one built as well.
Okay, and there we have Skylar and Fingrim Mark II. A noticeably heavier miniature. There's a lot more metal there. I like the fact that the spikes all over the back have been retained in the design. The loss or the replacement of the two lash tails with this gaping maw um, isn't completely lost in the miniature. It's kind of mirrored in these two great massive claws on the end of each arm. And the po pose and posture is echoed. And if anything, amplified in this version. And, uh, let's get these down next to each other for a good comparison.